Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. We had a quest to build an alien preserve. We are playing as the American Reclamation Society, or Corporation, on um, Apollo difficulty, which is the max difficulty. And the, um, the standard uh, sort of Terran type map. We've got full game details, I left everything as default, but there's my full start, Aristocrats, Hydroponics, and a Fusion Reactor for monies, which we used to build an Extra Explorer. And honestly, they've been working out. I'm actually really happy that I got the second Explorer over here. Very soon, the Explorers will have to come home to get an extra um, uh, Expedition Unit. On the other hand, if I do get a level of Supremacy, I won't need to worry about that. Maybe the closest one will come home, pick that up, and we can send them over to the Alien Skeleton right away as soon as we finish um, the Planetary Survey, of course. But the other one could stay off in the far distant land while we wait for... Hello! We've got the shadow the entire time. That's actually really interesting. So, Brasilia! How's it going, buddy? I'm quite happy you're far away. You and your plus 10% melee strength. So the big thing we have to worry about with the KP is they do get tiles 25% faster. But that's not really an issue here. Assuming we do get to that frac site quickly enough. And because there's no special resources over here and it's quite hilly and things, uh, Mandira should mostly grow to the west. Actually, this is a terrible location. Yeah, they get the algae and the fruit right away, but they're out of reach of the petroleum. Um, they won't be able to work the floatstone, but they will claim it right away. They're obviously, I suspect that they will expand to the west or here or something like that to acquire more floatstone, so they're going to be purity. So we're definitely going to butt heads early on. If we can eliminate them early, we'll be in pretty good shape. 80 production from the crash satellite. Don't mind that at all. In progress or in entropy. Completing pioneering, also quite sexy. Discovered a new uh, station. And yeah, we finished that. So, AP Explorer. I think uh, I think we're just going to bring you home. Seven turns to get home. Heal up a little bit. The planetary survey will be done. We'll go ahead and pick up that alien skeleton. That'll be wonderful. Uh, we're still three turns away from size uh, six. So rather than stall our uh, growth right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and invite, um, wow, one turn to a clinic. Oh, because we've got so much overflow. We could very sexily build one combat rover. Three turns, that'll tie up to our growth to six. And actually, we could use that to spot for alien life forms over here. Might not be a terrible idea. Uh, the alternative would be to insta-finish a clinic or a trade depot, and then put a couple of turns into something. I like the idea of um, just guarding. Our client. Uh, we are going to take the plus one culture from our old earth relics. Thank you very much. I'm sorry if we're clicking past the uh, quest too quickly for some people. Ooh. Um, but um, I am not. I can't read the quest every single time we play this game. Some, some people will be a little bit boring. Some people uh, you have, you know, will have played it already or watched the other videos. So you can always pause if you want to read the, uh, the flavor text. Um, I don't know this one. Knowledge team gained... The knowledge of team games from the devices of luminous parts. Oh, it gives us uh, progress towards the augmentation technology. Meanwhile, let's get the hell off of that and um, heal up. I think this uh, ARC Explorer is going to stay where he is with the idea that hopefully we'll get a level in purity relatively soon. And what quest do we have going on? Found an outpost, right? Occupational hazard. Uh, right, the alien preserve. That's to continue forward and get some free affinity points. Um... The excavations will continue. I suspect we'll probably be excavating something else over there. And you're too far away to really be uh, a threat to me, at least early on. So I'm going to poke the bear a little bit. Um, oh, we're still one turn off. Really? Oh, because we chopped the forest. Everything got screwed up. Let's uh, sink a turn into... Ooh, the worker's good. Trade Depot is also very good. Linux. Lots of things are good here. I'll start with the Trade Depot. Because uh, if we can get those internal trade routes going on, we'll be in pretty strong shape. Okay, we're now size 6, so let me go and click on the city. I'm going to activate the queue. So I'm going to add to queue a colonist, but I'm then going to just pop it up to the front of the queue. Uh, the city should automatically rearrange itself to work on the citizen, or the colonist as quickly as possible. That'll actually slow it down. Yeah, just reset. Just because of the funny way that um, excess food gets applied to production towards a colonist here, usually it's best to just reset the tiles, and the uh, city manager almost never uh, Fs that up. Oh, there is an alien over here. I'm actually really happy I've got a military unit. I could have built a soldier as well. All planets possess inherent value, and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be a priority. That's a good quote uh, for the ARC. So you're just going to keep walking home. That's going to be okay. 
do we go and destroy this wolf beetle? I don't think that's required. On the other hand, there really are not very many aliens around, so I may not have to worry about them being frenzied. You know, let's just go ahead and start beating them up. That's going to be okay. So we finished a lot of really key techs. Um, a quick ecology for a miasmic repulsor would be nice. We could also reveal a geophysics or geothermals, uh, which is appealing. Um, although that's much more expensive tech. We could also unlock the ability to build rangers, which are great units, and the pharma labs are also exceptionally good. Ecology also gives us the electronic ultrasonic fence, which, um, and I'm going to go down that route, which if we build that, we can get the quest decision that protects our trade units. And as we know from last time, you can get a lot of trade units destroyed by aliens. So I'm going to feel much, much, much better if um, we don't have to worry about that. There we go. One more landing. Someone else quite far away. I think, oh yeah, the African Union. What's up, dude? And I believe that is everyone. Everyone has now arrived. We're going to take the um, the seasoned bonus, and we're just going to heal in place, and we should be relatively safe over here. Hopefully there's no more aliens out and about. Uh, this explorer, I could let him heal before I move him out, but I think... Why would he move through all the miasma? It's only one stop there. Is it really faster? No. It's not faster in any way whatsoever. It's probably preferring heals for vision or something like that. But So I'm not going to worry about healing him up. I'm going to go straight to the alien skeleton. I'm a little bit worried that the KP might head over there. Get another virtue. Um, right, we did put a little bit into a worker, but honestly, a third worker would not be terrible. Actually, um, we're going to pick up homesteading because we're about to settle the city, and that way it will turn into an actual city a little bit faster, which is going to be nice. We're going to try to set up a trade route to these guys before they go away. Uh, yeah, cooperation would be great. Hey, here's the other thing. I think being close to Mandira, I think they're a little bit friendlier. Uh, I did play a game where I was close to uh, Hutama, the uh, Polystra Polystralia? Yeah, Polystralia. And uh, we were friendly. We had a cooperation agreement. We had open borders. We had trade going on, and he still sneak attacked me. He actually backstabbed me. What a bastard. Um, the fiber is good, but I am going to go ahead and build the mine on the titanium first because that is a crap ton of production. Um, and hopefully we'll get out of the way just in time for the colonist to spawn so that we don't have to worry about stepping on each other's toes with our one unit per tile. Yeah, I see plus five production. So good! The sooner we get that hooked up, the much, much better central will be. Yes, I would like to go across there. We are now fully healed here. We don't have our second expedition module yet. Hopefully soon. Seven titanium. Have I ever seen a titanium stack that big yet? Not sure that I have. Refraxite. Let's turn inland a little bit. We found a resource pod. When Coyote learned he. Where's the resource pod? Oh, over there. Oh, hang on. Before we go and uh, work this ruin. Okay, that may change our settlement plans ever so slightly. There's a lot more there than I expected, actually. And we get a quest decision for our laboratory. Uh, oh, right! This is another way we can get an ex expedition module. Mm. Now, we should get one automatic. We will go um, We will go Supremacy, I think. At the very least, we're going to grab Supremacy 1. So we should get it already. It would be handy to grab another one right now. But not actually that critical, and long term, I'm going to like the uh, bonus research from uh, laboratories. So we should hopefully be alright. It is a decent quest though, and I always forget about that one. Okay, we're going to pop this goodie hunt. Free solar collector, nice. And I'm going to wander out a little bit more. Wow! Okay, I thought it was going to be like a three tile island. It's like a proper landmass here. Great city location. Um, I still think putting one up here is going to be good because it solidifies a couple of places. Again, that's not a ton of Fraxite, but it's something. Um, and more importantly, Mandira may want to go there. Now, the closer we settle, of course, it will piss them off a little bit. We could just stay far away, but I think it's going to be a relatively safe location and hopefully they won't be too bitchy and they'll be okay with uh, colonizing towards the, uh, the east. I think I will launch this right away. Um... 
And I don't know if it really strongly matters exactly where. I'm going to go I'm going to try to avoid covering any sea tiles. Um, it would be nice to work... Let's cancel out of this. What is central actually working? Yeah, so these tiles are actually halfway decent, and this will be fantastic soon. i put a solar collector up here. Only one dead, dead tile. And while we do miss a resource, this way we get the titanium. And most importantly, we want to make sure that we actually cover central itself. Uh, because that way, um, the city gets a plus 20% boost to its um, energy production. There we go. Should probably try to keep more of those up. I wish this was like uh, Alpha Centauri, where there's actually like a money victory. In Alpha Centauri, if you had an, um, the way that the espionage worked is it cost money. Well, it cost energy uh, to get things done. Oh, you're right on the coast there. And um, one of the actions your spies could take would be, A, you could move a spy unit or an agent or probe team. That's what it was called. To, uh, I'll go ahead and move the one last tile. We're not going to settle that far east. Although that petroleum is nice. I do want to pop this alien skeleton, but it's going to be really important to know our location. Anyway, uh, you could move a probe team onto a military unit and bribe them with money to join your team, but you could also do that to cities. They were very, very, very expensive, but you could effectively buy cities in certain circumstances. And you could do an economic victory where if you actually had enough money in your bank that you'd effectively be able to buy every city in the game, you would just win. Um, la la bella, so new station. La 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 la. Over here, a little bit of fraxite. Oh, it's all a dead end. Okay. Uh, Mr. Worker is done there. Wonderful. Um, hooking up the fiber versus improving this terrain over here. I think I'm actually going to work on improving this terrain over here. It's interesting that it's suggesting building a generator. And I think that some of the purity type buildings, or um, supremacy type, like, uh, I should say, technologies, do lead you towards getting more energy from generators no from quarries there is somewhere that you get more energy from generators i just don't know ah organics okay so we'll get that automatically and i mean money is nice we are already making a little bit of extra money because of our aristocrats but it's not going to be the end all and be all i think our economy is going to be fine especially as we get trade things so i'm going to prioritize the farming stuff um i think this guy I'm going to move up to somewhere like here and just have him wake up if you see anything. All right, we're going to go for a full vision little scan over here. I definitely need to dig up those bones before the KP get to it. Oh, I can't get through there. I can come into here, though. All right. Beeline for the bones. Quest decision. Ah, the recycling. Faster worker speed or plus one food from recyclers? Mmm... I'm going to go with the faster worker speed. Now, 10% might not be enough to get to a break point, but uh, I will get helping hands relatively soon. And at 25%, we'll definitely save a turn or two off of certain improvement operations. So that's going to be uh, perfectly fine. So, I still like this. I still like this a lot. It solidifies, it grabs a lot of resources we're definitely, definitely going to want. So, um, it seems like a very smart idea. I'm not sure we're ever going to need that second expedition module. I'm happy that I didn't take it on my um, uh, on my laboratory. Especially if we will get one at some point uh, for free. So a lot of the other AIs have expanded to a new city already, which is not really a surprise since uh, this is Apollo difficulty. Um, they do start with uh, quite a bit more perks. What the hell was that? Oh! The crash satellite, which is required, I think, for one of the contact victories? Uh, I might be wrong. Still, it's worth digging that up. Um, build an expedition. Oh, that's the Solid State Citizens quest. Right. Which actually, if we do go uh, Supremacy, it's going to be my first time where I uh, build the awesome Robot City. So, uh, yes, let's start digging that up. That'll be groovy. Hopefully it's far enough away that no one gets cranky about it either, but who knows. Uh, production over here. I think it's going to be building time. Um, actually... Do we start with the trade convoy? I think so. Because uh, Jinsoku Labs is pretty good. We can also run one to our new city over here. And I was going to say, it should be relatively safe. And then, as I say that, a freaking siege worm shows up. Um, which gives us the quest to kill the siege worm. Let me change this. Let's me build an ultrasonic fence right away. 
just because I want the quest that gives me the immunity to my um my trade routes. I don't usually harass the aliens enough that I'm worried about them coming within my borders. But uh, yeah. Anywho, let's um, drop some more farms on here. Do -do -do. They may not be farms forever. And yeah, after that, we'll go and improve the uh, fiber as well. Mm-hmm. Those extra cities. Check the coast. Really, I feel maybe these guys over here are on a subcontinent of their own. It looks like we end here, but I'm actually really surprised at how big our, our current continent is. Um, yes, I'm going to do this. Completed quest. We get a free soldier out of it as well. Hooray, hurrah. Um, we could just babysit over here. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'm going to move the combat rover to there to give me vision for potential trade routes. And I'm going to move this guy over here to keep an eye over here. So we can see if any aliens spawn and then adjust our trade route uh, plots and plans accordingly. Brazilian Explorer. Yeah, six petroleum as well. Well, and the two there. So great little island. I'm not exactly sure how we'll colonize it. We'll have to figure it out, but it's pretty good. Nothing down here. Buy more titanium. Expedition. The alien skeleton resonated, resonated with strange energy exposed to a specific frequency. Team uses phenomenon to conduct experiments not possible elsewhere. Discovered how to better manipulate this planet's ecosystem and advance ourselves. Result, we gained 19 affinity XP towards purity. So we get purity level 1, how? Um, which actually gives us our soldier upgrade, soldier to marine. So, I mean, that's never bad. Um, the plus 15 bonus while attacking is really nice. I do like to use my soldiers as, like, big defensive units. Um, and so it's quite tempting to pick up the extra heal because I think they auto heal this or at the very least if they're fortified, they'll heal 15 per turn. Um, I, I don't know which one will prove to be better overall. I'll go ahead and take the healing one. Uh, the sort of, uh, in Civ 5, I felt like, like being just purely defensive, defensive tended to be really, really good. I feel like in, uh, Beyond Earth, things are a little bit squishier and do tend to fall down a little bit faster. So the tanky idea is not quite as strong, not quite as viable. Uh, but it's still worth giving a try. Uh, anywho, this explorer has to get to a city to get an ex exploration kit again. Um, oh, we placed this guy down before we knew about geothermals as well. Still, I think it's fine. Worst case scenario is actually we landed on where geothermals would have been. But... Um, yeah, I guess I'll just send you home to go and do that. Axiom will eventually become a city, but I don't think quite quickly enough. You will, uh, you're going to simply be on alert mode by hitting A, so you'll wake up if you see anyone. Same thing over here. KP combat rover buzzing around. Gotta keep an eye on them. They may decide to be aggro. Quest decision. Uh, oh, trade depots. Plus one production or plus one energy. I'm going to go for the plus one production. I consider one production to be more than one energy. Um, and again, energy situation should be relatively okay, especially if I've got my trade routes going on. Um, yeah, you can see this guy just healed 15 hit points, this soldier. Or this marine, I suppose he, he is now. Uh, let's go and improve this territory down here. We do need an extra worker. We've got enough money to buy another one, though. What will probably happen is we'll buy a worker as soon as Axiom becomes a city. I think that's probably pretty reasonable. Um, let's keep going. I know this guy's got no health, but there's not really as much threatening thing. Random pack worker. And some Fraxite over there. Get another Virtue. Um, please try to avoid the Siege Worm. Although, Explorers will not be attacked by aliens anymore. Very, very handy to have. Um, okay. Hmm. I think... And while this will tank my happiness, which means we'll lose the 10% science here, and in fact go into negative science, negative virtues. Actually, I don't need to rush out a, uh, a colonist. Like, I, I know I've got another site I want it at, but I really don't expect the KPs to go and colonize over here. Nor really here. And this is a great spot with lots of little resources, but it's not, you know, it's not critical that I rush it or anything. I'm getting a handful of frac site and lots of oil, which is nice. Still, I don't have, like, a massive supply of anything. And the big one is this floatstone over here, but we obviously have no hope whatsoever of getting that. There might be a bunch of goodies 
um, in this area here, which we'll have to check out, especially now that our explorers will not be attacked by, um, by aliens. Um... I think I will want some industry. Well, at some point, we're also, going to go, I think, going to want to go down um, Might to get this extra bonus, just to become, like, super, super good at Intrigue. Uh, we have a built-in 25% extra success rate, I think, but also 25% more Intrigue is generated. And the higher the Intrigue in a city, the better the stuff you can do. So with this, we could potentially just rush up to those Tier 4, Tier 5 Intrigue missions, and, like, I think you can flip cities, which is pretty amazing. The other thing we could do is rush down here for the extra health. And none of these are bad. We can get the faster border expansion to compete with the KPs, which would be nice. We don't need Pathfinders in any way. Um, I could take the free worker unit. Tell you what, I'm going to take Helping Hands. And that's going to put us one away from our uh, Tier 1 completion synergy bonus, so where we get a free virtue. So we'll pick another Tier 1 at some point. I just haven't figured out what that will be. Uh, we're going to go and improve this plantation. So the, you know, the Siege Worm should not come into my border, should not harass me because I haven't really been mean to the aliens. I did kill that one, but that was a while ago, and it was just one. Probably they're okay. All right, geothermals. Show me geothermals, baby. What do we got? Uh, that is really unfortunate, because that's actually out of reach of my capital. No geothermals over there. There is one here. All of a sudden, this city location becomes a lot more attractive. Uh, but again, it's going to be putting a lot of like sort of expansion pressure on Mandir, and they may hate me. Um, and it'd be nice to buy myself a little bit of time. So, this spot right here, while there's going to be some overlap with Central, it's not that much, and more importantly, the silica, the geothermals, the fungus, none of those are things that Central can work. So if we put a city right over here, it will be able to reach all the way down, one, two, three, to these geothermals. We still miss out on the fruit? No, Central will get the fruit. Right, and it gets the xenomass. So we'd get the coral, the geothermals, the silica, the fungus, more fungus, chitin, a little bit of floatstone, uh, some tubers. Yeah, this is an excellent site for a city. We'll tie up the east coast, and we'll, we'll gamble that no one is going to come and steal this island. Uh, the KP may, but I think it would be really crazy for them to not go west. In fact, they probably already colonized over there. I should, um, with my combat rover... Keep an eye a little further north on their expansion and see what they might do. Also, we can keep an eye out if they're building up a massive army to come and kill me with. Um, meanwhile, in my capital. Oh, we need uh, we need our trade convoy. Actually, trade vessels would be okay. We'd be uh, vulnerable to sea monsters. Um, and I have seen a few, but not really around here. It's mostly on the west side of the continent that I've mostly seen them so far. So we may be okay. Oh, we need one uh, one ground convoy to go to uh, Jinsoku Labs. So let's go and do that. Um, so what do we want? The long research to reveal geothermals. I'm kind of happy we did because it really informed our next location. I'm going to pick up physics. It's cheap, it's fast, it'll unlock the ranger, if nothing else, which will be very, very nice. And then I think because we're playing the ARC, we have to go and unlock computing. Uh, missile rovers are decent. Gunboats will be kind of handy as much coast as we have, but it's mostly about unlocking the spy agency and starting to do the espionage thing. Yeah, let's bounce around over here. And keep going. Uh, oh, Explorer. Um, you've got your expedition module. And this is on Miasma, so it's going to be quite important, actually, that we uh, do that. I have money, and I was going to buy a worker right away, but I'm wondering, <clears throat> should I build an anti-Miasma satellite? No, I don't think we have to rush one out. It might make a lot of sense, though. To buy a trade vessel. I think I like that. With the idea that I'm going to be setting up a trade route to Axiom. It'll A, make it pop faster. But B, we're going to feed it a bunch of hammers and food that way. Which is going to be... Oh, do you have a trade route going to Jinsuku? I think you do. Son of a bitch. Um, wait, really? Oh! Fog of war over here. I can't get my uh, trade route to go around this coast. Um, I need to, uh, to spot first. Would this be enough? No. Ah. So I can't trade with Jinsuku Labs. So my ground-based trade route uh, is... Well, probably I'll be able to go to Mandira. Um, so that's going to be okay. But yeah, I might not have built the ground unit. 
Might have just gone for two ships. So we might be able to sneak in there and steal something. So this vessel can't do anything, so just wait a turn. Your job is to keep... Uh, to wait one tick, and then we'll go through here and see if there's any expansion that's happened yet. We do have a friendship with these guys. So A, we can't just declare war on them to take out their, um, their trade route. And B, it does mean it's a little less likely they'll attack me. Wow, they really have not expanded yet? Huh. That is a lot of military units down here. Now, one thing we could consider starting is encouraging these folks to declare war on each other, to stay busy. I guess if they lay down a city, we will get notified about it, won't we? Um, you here, Marine. There we go. And I can put the worker back over here. Finish the plantation, please and thank you. Trade vessel can now reach Axiom and Mandira. We're going to start with Axiom, though. And the trade convoy uh, can go to Jinsuku Labs. Why? I thought there was only one allowed. Is it one per civilization? It might be one per civilization, but I thought it was one total. We could get more friendship with Mandira just by uh, sending a trade route their way. Um, the thing is, while we get more science by trading with Mandira, they also get some. Whereas here, the two science and three production is actually really, really nice. So we're going to go ahead and get that going on. We need new production here. Um, I will probably grab the free colonist as opposed to building a colonist. I think now is the time to build the clinic for the science and the health, especially as soon as our city pops. We'll go into the uh, negative there. Uh, after physics, actually, I was going to work on computings. Uh, computings? I'm actually going to queue up genetics first because we're going to want to make sure to get our pharma labs going, just to try to stay positive happiness. Um, go up here. Yeah, there's really nothing going on. Hmm. They might just be building a big military to come and beat me up which would be annoying. This is a hill here. We can actually sit a guy right over here. We could get bombed pretty easily, but it's such a nice little bottleneck here. A couple of melee units here and a couple of rovers, uh, or rangers, I should say, on the hills behind it will protect Axiom forever. And whatever city we colonize here or on the island should be relatively safe. Yeah, ships can do things, but... The AI will usually prioritize things that are nearby, so most likely Axiom will be targeted. Our capital may also be targeted, depending on exactly where they colonize. Um, but there's still a bit of a bottleneck here, and we'll have to try to build some stuff. Anyway, Axiom is done. I will definitely start off with the old Earth Relic, because we're going to try to push those borders out. The other thing I could do is also spend money to buy some borders, but it's a little, uh, little early for that. Um, and I have no money. This Explorer is... Healed and equipped, so we're going to go into that crashed satellite location. And I'll actually... I'm going to sit on these forts right over here. It'll be relatively well defended. Trade vessel, this was the one that was going to Axiom, is now done. Look at this trade mission, though. Like, we don't need to buy a worker when we can generate 16 production and 10 food this way. Most of which will go to Axiom, but some of it will also go back to my capital. Although these are also incredibly sexy trade routes. That's really good. <clears throat> but I'm going to go and build an internal one to start off with. Uh, the science is really nice. But I think a few of these key buildings over here in Axiom and a little bit of growth there will be incredibly, incredibly handy. Um, most likely, we will pick up um, the workforce initiative for the free worker. Because we still need a worker. Now, that only enables Pathfinder, which is kind of annoying. And I will probably want the free colonists at some point, but I guess I could always wait and at some point get the Tier 2 Synergy bonus. Because we can only get one more bonus on Tier 1 sort of optimally here for the Synergy bonus, and then we might want to go deeper. But especially if we want to go and get the Special Services at some point, that's four more, that actually works out. So... We can get, as our next point, we can grab the Workforce Initiative that will pop the Free Virtue, uh, which we might use to go deeper down here. Pioneering Spirit is pretty handy. And then at some point in the future, uh, and at some point in the future, we'll grab the Colony Initiative and then three more here, which will unlock the uh, second tier bonus, and that will get us to Special Service as well. I think that works out pretty nicely, but I have to put a cut in this video, guys. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos of Civilization and Beyond Earth. I'm certainly enjoying playing this game. I keep thinking about it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.